Coco Pellet. Yeah. Hey. Historical. For, for, for Coco Pellet. So for people who have been just oblivious yeah. to Talk life, to, Talk to, to the party, to the party mm. scene, mm. to the streets, mm. the streets as we say it. Streets. Tell them about it. the experience of a Coco. Coco Pellet is a building. Coco Pellets is a vibe. Coco mm. Pellets is an experience. Coco Pellets is, and it ain't all yeah. just, it ain't one person. It, it's it's a plethora of things. It's a it's like the perfect storm. Yes. And it was the perfect storm. I mean, we was cooking this. Um, there's a club owner that has a certain mentality. His name is Chad Fungi. Um, I worked for Chad when he had a partner. He had three partners. And people always saw me as a talent, but my talent needed to be, you know, shaped and molded. Honed. Yes, sir. You know the word. And so there was a club called Congress. There was a club called Millennium that they both owned. But Chad was a different type of owner. Like once he lost those two clubs, yeah, I think he saw what he saw in me. So when he got ready to go back into the black club business. Mm -hmm. He came to the radio station. He was like, yo, baby, I want to, what are you doing nowadays? I think I want to go back into the black club business. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I want to, I want to include you, but listen, I want to do it a little different this time. He said, I'm, I want to make it more about the party mm. and not about how much we can charge people. You agree with that? Mm. I said, absolutely. Right up your alley. Absolutely. And I've never had a club owner Believe in me like that. Yeah. He gave you the keys. The reins. We went into this club called Coco Pellas. It's now known as the as the warehouse. Mm -hmm. But this club owner, he used to be a DJ, so he understood from a DJ perspective what was needed. Mm -hmm. He strategically done certain things for me. And with DJs and it was kind of rough at first because we had to figure it out. Like people just wasn't trained to go, you know, stay out past two o'clock. Mm -hmm. So around mm -hmm. one thirty, this shit was like clockwork. I don't care what you playing. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. What song got you got going? But at one thirty, it's like somebody hit a switch and said, "Niggas, one thirty, street light on," and everybody left out that motherfucker. Well, time to go. <laughs> and and I would be, I would be like, damn, that shit was crushing. You know what I'm saying? Me and the DJs would get together, be like, man. How the fuck we gonna fix this? We never we would always lose the crowd at 130, 230. Mm. Not the two, the one thirty, oh, like a nigga. Before like, two. Oh, yeah, before the two, and it would be empty, and we was like, damn, what the fuck wrong? You know what I'm saying? And I figured it out. And I, tell I figured it out. You won't tell your secret? Or you nah, is, I just is, is it is it a secret formula? We can understand if it's a secret formula. It, it, it's not. It, you just have to you just have to know people. You just have to know people. Yeah. And people never understood why whenever you brought Bebe and you hired him, you might bring Bebe for two hours, but Bebe going to give you three. And don't let me be on the end of it. Ooh. There's been many a nights that the police officers or the security had to, <laughs> to feel a certain way. Yeah. Snatching plugs out the walls at college parties. Oh, and man. It's because what I felt like they neglected us and what they took me through. With that, with them people walking out on us at one thirty, I said we'll never feel that again. Oh, that's right. And so, we, we took were, it as a challenge. Yes, we were the king of wherever we went. We made sure you get more than your money's worth already. And they used to put us out mm. at the end of the club. The club owner be like, "Leave." Yes. And so, when I got to Dallas, there was one Super Bowl year. Everybody else. I don't know what they made, but the rumor was a lot of people didn't make what they Good thought they was going to make. Because of the Super Bowl, they was, it snowed. I remember. And um, this is a story I never told. But Super Dot is close. Onyx was the the known spot. Yeah. And DGs was just known to have the good girls. And I was only there Monday nights, which Monday nights at DGs was created by Bo Kane. Yeah. And brought Bebe in, and then we made it epic. All right? Yeah. And the club owner said, hey, what do you think about doing the Super Bowl? I said, I don't know, man. I said, I'm, I'm going to float. I said, I got a lot of parties. He said, well, what about you think about making 
DG is the last party. You know, the last spot. After party, of all after parties. And I was like, all right, then. I said, but you got you to gotta pay me because I don't trust y'all niggas out here. Hmm. You know, I see how it is. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of, you know. If mm-hmm. they, Let's just say they believe in paying you what they feel like you. Oh, yeah. And I, After you don't work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I I went with all the waiting around saying, you got to pay me up front. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I think that I had put enough work into my craft mm-hmm. and what I had done in Shreveport and had a following that and 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 throughout the industry yes. relationships and i'm gonna keep it a buck with you dgs competed with onyx oh yeah everybody that went to mm-hmm. onyx yeah except birdman and cash money came to dg mm. no money relationships yeah on the strength of you on the strength it's beautiful I thought I had a, a club owner that believed in the baby light back in Shreveport. You feel me? Yeah. But then <laughs> that influence is a motherfucker, man. Oh, yeah. That man said, shit. You know, remember Cube said, St. Louis niggas want their corner back. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I think that man felt like baby owned this club, man. Oh, he, he it was like. Coco Pelly? No, the one DG. No, DG. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Run, man. He gave us, he let us roll for as long as he let us ride. How long you think the the, the run was? Shit, a year and something. Okay. Yeah, a year and something. May have been a little longer than that, but um, yeah, we made it cool to be out on Monday nights and had a blast, and people would come from all around. I've seen it happen before in Dallas, bro. Yeah. Even before you came to Dallas, they'll let let's just say it was Snake. Yeah. They let Snake them come in and get the, the club hot. Yeah. And, and then they said, sudden, we don't need them no more because we got it rolling. We got it rolling. But the crowd follow. The DJ yeah. is the artist. Yeah. yeah. They're, the, they're the attraction. Yeah. And uh, shout, out to the, shout out to the club owners, man. Shout yes. out to the promoters. The smart, shout out to the smart ones. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Monday night DGs. Already. Exposure after DGs. Okay. Beamers. Ooh. Saturday nights. Yes. I ain't never been to a Bay Bay party. Truth nightclub mm-hmm. on a Thursday night. Yes. Oh, we we Dakota Dump. Yup. I want you to tell me what they all got in common later on. Maybe not here. Okay. <laughs> trivia. Trivia. You're going to make me do some homework. Trivia. So, Coco Pellas was a was a vibe, and we didn't charge people like big money to get in. But we had the best fucking drinks. Man. They, 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 yes. didn't, they didn't go. They didn't go. Well, you know. There's, there's a famous club in Dallas. Baby, you going to leave in your my walking sideways. G, G? No, 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 no. Okay, no. come talk to me. My hood. Yeah, come yeah, on. yeah. I'm from Singing Hills, Oak Cliff, Texas. Okay? Educate me. I stand corrected. There is a club that is known for pouring Louisiana style drinks. They call them Stiffy Iffy Iffies. And if you ain't never been to the club, it ain't like that no more. But I, you have had to have heard the rumor of the famous Cliff Club drinks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and they talk, let me tell you how they do you, baby. They pour your drink. You know how they pour the drink. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What you want? You a little Sprite? That's it. That's it. Just for the color. That's it. Just for the color. Just for the color. Look cold. Just for the color. Just for the That's color. That's all you're going to get. And you better not. You better not do nothing. So, <laughs> you better just drink it and walk off like you're normal. Ooh, so, good. so for me, when when they start stepping on the club business, yep. you know, like you know, I say it all the time, this ain't been stepped on. It's raw. Yes. When they start <laughs> stepping on it, yeah. Yeah. I, I backed away. So it's like. That's a shame. A lot of my fan base, a lot of people say, baby, why are you not in the club every week? To the smart promoters and the club owners yes. that do know, they'll get at least a night or two mm-hmm. to see how you act, yes. see how it is. But I enjoy just going and performing for, like, being brought out. Yeah. Not that we're in retirement or anything. Because mm-hmm. we, we, we stay on the road, you can stay rich. Yeah. Right. But I do love... Louisiana, I do love Texas, and to go and do, 
you know, Erica mm-hmm. Badu brought like it's funny that the R and B people understand like Erica Badu brought me out for her shit. Yes. And my God. I heard. I hate that we missed it. Then we went to a birthday party. It was private. And then Erica leans up and says, baby, go get my shit popping. Yeah. Again. And then the shit went to the roof. Then Division came to Dallas. And he said, man, I want to bring you out, people. I want want you to do the set before me. So I said, I'm with it. You know, it it be the hand. Like, if it's authentic, then we good. Yes. But if it's, if it got shims, if it stepped on, <laughs> I ain't coming to your shit. Don't come, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, and I just like I say, I love everybody that that show me love. I go with the love. It now that's that's what I'm really trying to tell you. And I go with the love. It I go where I'm celebrated and yes. I tolerate it. Yes. Well, we love you both. Absolutely, man. We love you. That's the reason why I baby here. Thank you, bro. It's not that I think that I'm better than anybody, but I gotta protect my energy. There you go. All day. One thing every day. Since we on that subject, yes. Well, since we on that subject, and you know, you ain't gotta speak on on, on this. I want to toot your own horn because I'm. Mm-hmm. I want to toot your own. Horn. I want to. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> yeah. Pause. <laughs> okay. I, I wait for these guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, I yeah, wait yeah, on these youngsters. They ready. They, 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 they ready. I got I you protected. Thank you, bro. I got you protected. You protected. Excuse me. You know what I meant. Yes, sir. I was just I'm a, clarifying. You from that era. You from that cult. So you can I say what you want to say. I can say what I want. Because ain't nothing pop your shit. shit. That's right. About this man. You just said you couldn't pull out a parking lot. Pop your shit. Come on, man. Come Floor on. Man. Your... But I, I, I've been here a long time, bro. Yeah. I've seen people come. Yes. And I've seen people go. We all have. Hmm. I know what happened in the 90s was detrimental You, you, you to the city as far as rap. Mm-hmm. You hear things about Bay Bay. Right, but that's only from a small selected group. Mm-hmm. But like we just said, if you don't have no haters, you ain't popping. You ain't popping. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And one thing I know about you, sir, is I sit back in the cut and I watch. Mm-hmm. You have been helping and helping and helping oh, Dallas yeah. since you set foot in this place. Yeah. Yes, sir. And for anyone to fix their mouth to say anything <laughs> else. <laughs> You gonna bring the old bobo out? I mean, yeah. well, you know that's how people do now. Yeah. It's talk. Yes, well, they, they they do. Don't, they don't but research. I, but we from don't. the era that that talking would get your 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 head. You yeah. Know so what I'm so let me let me chime in with you guys. Mm-hmm. Family. Go yes. Ahead. All right. There's a lot of people who love baby. A lot, a plethora. Yeah, people who support you don't always have to step up and say they support you. They just go behind the curtain and mm-hmm. do. Yeah. Then there's. A lot of people who love you different. They love you. They don't hate. They don't. You don't have haters. Yeah. When they hate you, they're going to kill you. Yeah. There's a few people who love you different because maybe things didn't turn out for them the way they wanted. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's God time. You feel me? Exactly. But the observation is it's good. And you can't worry what people say bad about you. Mm -hmm. You just don't let it be true. That part. Then, I will say this: you can't argue with a fool because from a distance they don't know who the fool is. They don't know who the fool is. I don't argue with people that got one eye. They only see half the truth. Mm. You You're catch that not talking later. about people with literally oh, one eye. Okay, so don't <laughs> come for us in yeah, the comments. For real. <laughs> You'll catch that later. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I can't argue with nobody who only got one eye. One eye. They not seeing the vision. They only see half the truth. Hmm. <laughs> and I love him dearly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love you dearly. Yeah. Yeah. You get no response. None. You tricked a lot of people. You'll hmm. never trick baby. Hmm. Already. I love you. I understand the assignment. I understand the mission. Yes. In order to cure us, you have to take what's bothering us. Or what we do crazy and inject it back into. I understand that. Yeah. So, Bebe is a big old, big old supporter of you. Yes. Thank you. I love everybody. Yes. Touch not that anointed. Hmm. Hmm. That part. (laughs) I'm in Fort Worth tonight. Yes. Hey. By way of Oak Hill. (laughs) Yes, Laura. (laughs) It's your girl, Jazzy K, with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'ma get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. 
I get the low low from Big Bobo. From the front seat, not no photos. 